Not sure if Fury's gonna stand and fight Chisora the way he wants until he's got full control of this fight. And he feels like he's in full control. There's a right uppercut that came in from Tyson Fury. Giving him an opportunity. Hey, hey. Driving down right hand. There's Fury with the right hand behind the jab. Of course, a jab that comes with 85-inch reach. Short left hand on the inside, just as there was some separation. Chisora backed up again. Good counter right there from Tyson Fury. Well, you're going to throw that big overhead right. He can time it. That's how you discipline an opponent. Make him think twice. Punch combination by Fury. Here's the uppercut. It has been the target since the beginning. As he then tosses him into the ropes. Right hand drive from Fury. Right uppercut comes in. And Chisora is trying to cover up. He's in trouble. And Fury headhunting before he gives space. Final moments here in round two. And Chisora clearly affected. Left uppercut. Right uppercut just missed. Drives a downward right hand. Just feet above us, and you can hear the thud from Fury. Devastating shots that Chisora is getting hit with. Heavy Dominating shots. second round by the champ. And Fury is not backing up. He's coming on. And a right hand wobbles Chisora. Uh -oh. Chisora is on weak legs. He's in the corner as Fury is throwing uppercut after uppercut. And Chisora is holding on to that top row. Another uppercut lands. Leverage of Tyson Fury. He can drive power home. Hey, hey, I'm going boy. Hands up. Hey, right uppercut breaks in. And a follow up headshot. Serious damage being done here in round three. That long probing left hand creating a sight line that does damage with the right. He's a tough crowd warrior is Chisora. Fury has great respect for him as he even comes forward with an overhand right after taking all that damage. Chisora showing that he will not give and he will still be aggressive. A left uppercut lands and another one. And down they go. A combined nearly... I don't know if he may have gotten his leg there. It's a lot of weight falling to that canvas right now. Oh, it sure is. 530 of pounds weight. of it. That end of it. It's not just the punches. It's one of his power punches. He landed 23 in that last round. Chisora opens up this fourth round, swinging to the body. Sweeping with the right and the left across the belt line. Probing with the jab to the body. His job. They know that Fury's going to tie up inside as he should, and they're petitioning the referee to try to do something about it. That is a challenge. Double jab, right hand by Fury. We've seen him switch before. Off balance, just on that exchange. That's a combination of age and punishment from this fight. The legs are not, they're not there like you want them to be. They're not as sturdy as you want them to be. And often when that's the case, you'll see Fury lean on an opponent. There's that uppercut again. Every time Chisora dips, Fury views it as an opportunity to throw it. Right hand behind the jab. That was a blinding jab with the right hand falling immediately and then driving down a right hand. And Chisora comes forward off of it. On it. Overhand right sweeping and a miss from Chisora. A willingness, but a miss. In just a few rounds. Good shot there from that southpaw stance, the right hook. Bounce to his step here to open up round seven. It's also very difficult for a heavyweight opponent of Tyson Fury to deal with is the different looks that he gives you. One minute he's leaning on you, the next minute he's moving around. 
There's that right hand from distance. Behind that 85-inch reach of a jab. Right hand, and then looks to fire that left uppercut as he does right there. Good combination that does damage in that neutral corner. See Fury being the bully early in his round. Pushing Chisora back. Once again, weakening, draining his opponent. Fury can stop this fight or get this fight stopped whenever he's good and ready. How so, Dre? By putting enough punches together where one gets through and Chisora goes down or goes out. He can step this up whenever he's ready. Chisora willing to throw between those punches. You can see some swelling around his eyes. But willing to go after it with Fury. There's a big right hand that lands from Tyson Fury as Chisora ties up. Here comes that flick. When Tyson Fury bounces like that, he wants that flick. Right hand shot. These are big shots raining in. These are head shots raining in. The thudding shots. And then across the threshold, left up, there's a right uppercut again. Remember, it was a right uppercut that finished things at Wembley against Dillian White. Chisora still to the inside, going to the body. Fury's checking Ch Chisora's temperature, and then Chisora will come back with two or three big shots. That got the crowd's attention. Fury says, well done, Chisora, well done. At some point, if Fury puts enough punches together, the referee's got to take a hard look at that because what's the point at this point? Right hand was slow and deliberate. That time. It sure is. He has just absorbed all night long. And many upstairs like that. You get hit with those kind of shots and you don't have enough to return fire, it's time to go. It's time to go home. There is blood coming from the mouth of Chisora. There is swelling, extreme swelling, around the right eye. Those eyes don't look no, good. They don't. Derek Chisora, they haven't. This does not look time. good at all. His face is damaged. There's a big uppercut, and he just pushes him back. Look at the face of Chisora. if Fury can close the show right now, right here. Another uppercut. Chisora fighting desperate to open up this 10th round. He has been completely outgunned. Doubt about it. These are concussive and sub-concussive blows that you're taking from a man the size of Tyson Fury. That right eye is shutting out Chisora. Blood is coming from his mouth, and he is being teed up. Heavyweight champion in complete control, looking for a knockout late here at Tottenham. His trainers and assistant trainers got to be honest with themselves in moments like this in this fight. It's not about the backlash, the crowd, or anybody else. It's about that fighter that you know won't quit. You gotta help him out. Who is a caring husband and father. Mark, what are they saying in that corner of Chisora? Stopping this. He wouldn't even look at me. His fighter just ate a body shot and then another right uppercut. And Fury just walking him back, just leaning on him and getting ready to hand out more punishment. Yeah, the referee wants to make the move, but he doesn't want to make the move. He's looking, but he, he's not stepping in. I get it. Chisora at one punch, but that punch isn't going to land and do any damage to Tyson Fury tonight. It's already landed. He's taking the punch. It's time to go home.
Fury can help this process out if the ref in the corner don't want to stop it by hitting Chisora with the right flurry to get the ref to step in there. Right hand, left uppercut. That was Glancy, and that's enough. Victor Walkland said, listen, one more combination, it's over. He got it. Tyson Fury, TKO victory in 10. A bruising, deliberately punishing night absorbed by Derek Chisora. He took such damage. Usyk, arms folded. Three heavyweight belts on that man ringside after defeating Anthony Joshua. The number one heavyweight in the world, the lineal heavyweight champion, in the ring celebrating a victory and giving respect to the veteran Chisora. And the great respect that Fury has for Chisora. Fury was happy, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 51 seconds in round number 10. A referee in charge, Victor Lachlan, had seen enough, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still the undefeated WBC and lineal heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson!